Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. I'm Melissa. I just realized that I never showed my face in any of my videos, so none of you even know what I look like, but here I am. Um, and I also apologize for this messy situation over here. It is a very busy, busy, busy season for me, given that it's Halloween and I've had over <sighs> 120 dresses that I've had to make and send out. So given that I'm sending out so many across the wonderful United States, I did have a viewer ask on one of my other videos how I ship and package my tutus and my dresses. So I figured now was a good time as any to start with packing supplies. The easiest way and the main way that I ship all of my dresses and my tutus because I do send them priority because it includes tracking, it includes up to $50 of insurance, um, and the way that my shipping is set up on my Etsy shop, actually what they pay for is what it ends up being for priority regardless. So it's a pretty easy and convenient way for me to ship them. It gets there within their two to three day time frame. I've even seen it be a day if it's within the same state or close to it. Um, so that's how I ship all of my dresses. So for packaging supplies, I recommend, especially to start, unless you find a vendor that you prefer to buy like personalized boxes from and stuff like that, um, USPS, so the United States Postal Service website itself, does have free Mommy. boxes. Hey, buddy. Um, okay, you have a phone. <laughs> um, so they do have free boxes that you can order. Yes, you can literally add these boxes to your shopping cart and at checkout it says zero. Say hi. This is Micah, my little helper. Playing with sister's phone. 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 Okay. Go play. So, go to the USPS website. Make sure that what you're getting are, can you take them in the back please? Make sure that what you're getting are the actual priority mail boxes. So not the ones that say express and not the flat rate boxes. The flat rate boxes, um, when you ship them and you have to ship them as is labeled on the box, you can't. Please don't try to package in one of their free boxes and then wrap it with something else. Like that's a serious serious issue if you do get caught doing that so please don't do that um, make sure you're getting the right box so the ones that are flat rate are very expensive to ship and that's really only logical for heavier items tutus and tutu dresses are very lightweight I have never even had a dress or a tutu make it past two pounds so you don't want to use the flat rate option because that's more for heavier items so that you can ship those cheaper. So get the ones that just say priority mail. I think they start on the second page because the first page when you go to their packaging supplies are all going to be the flat rate, flat rate and express mail boxes because um, obviously they want you to spend more that way. So get the priority mail boxes. One of the main sizes that I use which fits up to size seven, eight in dresses because of the way I fold them, which I will show you. Um, the size of this box is basically, it also has like decimals and a few other numbers, but it's essentially a 12 by two by 13 box. So 12 by two by 13. Um, this is what it looks like. So again, just the priority mailboxes, not the ones that say express. And they also have a adhesive on them so you don't need to have packaging tape when you use these boxes. It has a nice little section or area for you to do the to and from address. So I really, really love these boxes. You can get them in quantities of 10 or 25. You can order, you can only order one of each type of box at a time. So if you want to get more at one time, make sure you change the quantity to a bundle of 25 instead of the bundle of 10. 
that is originally going to be labeled there. So they do them either in bundles of 10 or 25. And then just a few days later, you can order more. I mean, I don't know what kind of volume your shops are at, but order accordingly. So on to how I actually package them. So I tape up one end and see this skinny thing here. And you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to get this poofy thing into this box? And honestly, I love this way of packaging the most because it does not crush the tool. And you'll see. So, I'm going to take my dress. Depending on whatever design you have on your dress is going to determine how you fold it. Whether you want to fold it going in so that you protect whatever's on the um, design or if there's a lot going on that you would crush it folding it in, you can fold it out like that. For this one, I'm just going to fold it in so that I can protect Olaf's face and it does not disturb or fold up any of that design. So now my dress looks like this. So I folded it inwards. For the smaller sizes, you don't need to wrap up anything. You can literally just fold it. Then I take that folded edge and I position it on top of the box. Then very gently, I start to squish in the tool, straightening it out as I go, and I push it down into the box. Just like that. So this makes it so that none of your tool is being folded, none of it is going to get wrinkled, your design is protected. Just push that in there. Voila! Mommy, look it! There's a store! Oh cool! You got a store! And there you have it. You've got a nice, neatly packed tutu right inside there. You can also um, put them in a bag first, which I've seen a lot of um, tutu makers get their supplies off of Uline. So you can put them in like plastic bags first and then slip them in there. I haven't had any issues whatsoever shipping them this way. Then I just put any matching hair bows or anything else that I need to put in there with it to fold it up, take off the seal, and then it is on its lovely way. They have different size boxes of these. The other size box that I used from time to time for the bigger dresses or for multiples are the large priority mailboxes. Again, this is not a flat rate box. It is not the express box. They are the large priority mailboxes. you get an idea of how big those are and this one is a 12 by 12 by 8 size box so this one is square okay so it has a different shape so depending on what type of tutu or dress you're shipping then maybe this would be ideal for you so I do recommend to order different size boxes for the different types of dresses that you have this is a 12 by 12 by 8 size box um, here's the information but again the skinnier rectangular boxes are my favorite because then you don't have to fold or crush any of the tool and I have fit in this particular size box they do have a longer one that is also rectangular open the door okay um I have fit up to, because you can see this is a size 12 to 18 months and I still have about half a box of space left. I fit up to like size seven, eight dresses in here without them having to be folded at all. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this video short. I am going to make it just like how you ship or how I ship my tutus and my dresses in the United States Postal Service boxes. I will do another video with some boxes that I get from Walmart. I ran out, so I don't have any on hand right now to show you. Um, 
But leave a comment if you want to see a video on that, how I line those boxes and package those. And as you can see, I love getting comments and I love getting feedback. So if you want to see anything in particular, just leave a comment and I will do my best to make it happen.